Hello, today is uh, Sunday, February 22nd, uh, 2015. I'm here to discuss with you the oil uh, market situation, uh, prices related to oil, uh, oil stocks, what's going on uh, in the future, uh, which is the unknown. I, I will not uh, make any presumptions to, to knowing it all. First of all, I'd like to uh, address my uh, uh, discussion, if you will, uh, to the typical retail investor and the general public and tell you that you should not be uh, scared uh, by the wild or often wild comments uh, said in the market, uh, typically by persons who don't have the right uh, background, if you will, to make the comments that they do, they try to shock and awe and gain their own uh, personal exposure through doing so. So please disregard these comments. Now, what we must to, uh, take into account is that today's economics is very much interlinked with today's politics. Uh, that's a given whether we like it or not. Um, uh, economically, we have Europe and the US uh, basically, in essence, bankrupt. They, they keep going through their goodwill, uh, through the fact that the whole world uh, doesn't have a replacement, if you will, to, to, to the Western world's uh, uh, dominance in the, in the economic fields. Plus, of course, needless to say, their uh, political power, if you will, and certainly the U.S. military power. Uh, wars historically, past, present, and future have and will uh, be uh, started uh, in large part for political reasons, uh, for economic reasons, excuse me, uh, under the pretext of political reasons. And this is where we have to be careful. Uh, plus, we have the US uh, Federal Reserve, they have the right and the option to print as much money as they want and hence pay off their uh, huge debt, which in essence means they're not bankrupt, if you will. Uh, so they are bankrupt in the sense that they are way overextended with the huge loans they cannot uh, repay through a normal process. But having said that, they can print the money to pay it off, which would, uh, they are doing so, but in a, limited, in a more limited level, if you will. If they did it in a mass scale, it would result in huge inflation, which is obviously not something they want. Uh, plus, they want to maintain uh, the world, uh, credibility in the world for, for themselves and, uh, and their currency. So, now, when, what brings us to the oil price? The oil price, frankly, uh, is, uh, let's say, for the future, for the medium-term future, it's going to, for sure, go up above the current levels. These current levels are unsustainable. The world needs oil. If not, if not for, even if we find replacements for car, for gasoline, uh, oil is used for plastics, for uh, all sorts of industries, uh, which you cannot even... Some of, the, some of which you cannot even imagine. And it will be foreseeably uh, needed no matter what. What we are dealing with here is a matter of supply and demand uh, and which is uh, overtaking the other at any point in time. Now, fair, fair to say that in, 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 let's say, the last six months or so, yes, we've had uh, more supply than uh, uh, demand. Demand is... I wouldn't say waning in terms of going down, but also people are not differentiating between the difference of uh, demand going down and the demand growth going down. And in reality, it's more a matter of demand growth going down versus demand itself going down. Demand growth has been going up uh, throughout the years uh, historically that, uh, you know, that, that we can look back on. Um, uh, the world is getting uh, smaller <laughs> geographically, but bigger in terms of population. More and more people are affluent, more and more people have money to spend. And that needs more cars, more transportation, more plastics, more clothing, more energy, more of everything. And oil is an integral part of that. So, uh, what's happened in the last six months, basically? which created this whole drop of oil. We've had plus or minus a 2% uh, differential between 
supply and demand with supply being the greater if you will and that resulted in close to 60 percent uh, decline from the peak to the trough uh, in a very quick manner that is illogical for a two percent difference between supply and demand to have a 60 percent decline in price is illogical this is purely politically motivated so those who are not leveraged can disregard the political motivation they sleep on what they have and they look forward to a better future please do not keep on uh, assessing how much your value or your portfolio or your investments are worth on a day-to-day -day basis think of it on a long term on a medium to long-term investment which i would like to think and hope that um, that was the basis on which you entered now for those of you who are leveraged Yes, the matter is, is very different. You have to bear in mind that uh, today we live in a world where the only constant is change and there's huge volatility uh, going on all the time and this is how the game is being played today. You have to be very careful. You have to get yourself out of, the, of this type of situation and cycle and start to only invest in a more stable manner, whether it's for long-term or short-term gain but without the exposure of being leveraged. Start to use your own cash uh, and uh, be happy with what you can make in that regard. At least it'll allow you to sleep well and not worry that you could have the floor swept from under your feet. So those who are leveraged, uh, you have to be careful. Minimize what you can and hold on to what you can. I can't tell you exactly because I don't know the details of your income, of your positions, etc. You need to take those decisions for yourselves. But uh, do not keep yourself over leveraged and be careful for the short term fluctuations which can and will take place. Uh, now I don't want to talk about a bottom for oil. Um, I th hope that we've seen the bottom but it could be retested. Um, I don't like these theories of the ten and twenty dollars. These people are, you know, these people who who throw these figures are really just looking for attention, if you will. Um, uh, it's not to say that it's impossible, but it's not something to be thrown out there. Frankly, it's a matter of illogical. It's the same as saying, uh, you know, given a sudden war in the Middle East uh, tomorrow, oil could hit two hundred dollars. Yes, it could. Is it likely to do so? Hopefully not. So, please take things into context. Do not follow the media too closely. Try to follow those who are uh, with an oil industry background and and who who speak uh, for you know let's say with a more mature mind rather than for their own personal uh, benefit. And. Uh, read up on on your politics because politics and economics are integrated today and foreseeably for the future so this concludes uh, my first edition of uh, uh, of economics if you will uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, please click on the button to follow me for future thank you